Today we're putting the accessory drive on the twin turbo El Camino. I'm Gilk the Great and welcome back to Hoodbilly Garage. This is a drag and drive build. We fully plan on driving this on the freeway all the way to national trails and back. So there's a few luxuries of this car I was not willing to give up. One of which being power steering. And if you're doing anything LS swap related, ICT Billet has all the LS swap solutions. I figured out which kit I needed. It was the wrong kit. I gave them a call, they lined me out, and here we are. So let's start getting this installed. I'm excited. I'm gonna start with the water pump. To get the proper alignment on this LS swap, I'm using ICT Billet's one inch water pump spacers. These are a must when you're running aftermarket brackets like I am with this twin turbo setup. For now, I'm just mocking everything up. I'm not fully tightening anything. You can see that I've got the spacer sitting behind the water pump. I always double check fitment before adding any gasket maker or fully bolting anything down. This is gonna drive me nuts. Watch this. It just keeps going. Next up, I start figuring out the alternator bracket setup. Okay, rear plate. Bolts right into there. Simple enough. Bolt. We need to lube these threads up. So I was mocking this pulley assembly up, but these threads here and the water pump side and a few over here are just kind of fighting me. Uh, I can see some dirt and grime in one of them. The threads are just kind of binding up, so we're gonna fix that real quick. Rather than forcing these bolts in and risking messing the threads up or even cross-threading it, I'm gonna hit it with some Blaster Multimax. This stuff isn't just a lubricant, it'll help clean out threads too. So we're gonna load it up, let it soak for a second, and then we're gonna run the bolts in and out a few times. Blaster Multimax is my go-to for stuff like this, especially when you're working on older blocks or junkyard parts like this 5.3. It saves me time and keeps me from wrecking threads like this. After fixing the binding issue with a little blaster Multimax, I went back to mounting the alternator bracket and the bolts ran in as smooth as ever. These threads are so much smoother now. Alternator is going to set here. Alright, get your spacers in there. And you're ready to put the power steering bracket on. Cool. Ready for the water pump. With everything fitting good on the mock-up, I pulled the water pump back off so I could start the final install. I'm running a stock truck style LS water pump. This one came off of a 2004 Silverado. It's a solid reliable option for these SWAT projects and it fits perfectly with ICT Billet's one inch spacers that we added earlier. Now I'm laying down a thin bead of gasket maker around the ports. You don't want to overdo this stuff or it'll squish into the cooling system. Less is more just enough to fill any imperfections between the spacer, gasket, and the block. I like to add a little extra around the bolt holes too, just for good measure. Now we need to put this smoothly on and not rattle it around everywhere. Don't rattle it! I rattled it. We've also got an ICT billet timing cover and it's got the drain plugs for the turbos right there, so. so it should make twin turbo in this a lot smoother. With the water pump bolted down, I moved on to mounting the power steering pump onto the bracket that we just installed. Everything lined up clean and it fit like it should. With the power steering pump in place, I jumped back over to finish assembling the alternator side of the bracket and got the tensioner prepped for the install. I'm also upgrading the alternator with a 145 amp unit. This is a bigger jump up from the stock 105 amp alternator. This will also give me the extra security I need to make sure that nothing goes wrong because this thing did not have all these electrical components from 1981. Obviously we've added a bit of electric since 1981. This thing's now got the EFI system and the fuel management system and the electric fans. And there's gonna be more electric added to this unit, especially because we're gonna drive this thing. So it's better to make this alternator upgrade now than later. Next up, I went ahead and installed the power steering pump pulley. To fit this power steering pump pulley on, I did have to go get a pulley installer, but if you don't really want to spend the money on that, you can always go rent one at your local auto parts store and then return it when you're done. With the water pump temporarily mocked up, I moved on to figuring out how the rest of the front drive would lay out. The pulley assembly from ICT Billet is now installed. Now the moment of truth is here. Does it work and does it fit with the turbo system I have? Let's find out. So we're just gonna run a few bolts in to make sure that the turbos don't fall flat on the ground. But more importantly, check the clearance between the alternator and the power steering pump right next to the headers. Which is a very important thing to do because I bought this kit mismatched. This kit actually belongs on a Corvette. So hopefully it fits good. 
We're a little uneven, but here's the first look. Uh, header clearance, great over here. We're a little tight right here. I'm gonna wrap these headers either way. A little worried about it. Maybe we can space it out because I know they make header spacers. I don't know if I wanna do that, but it's, it's pretty good. I think it will be fine. All in all, it looks pretty good. I don't like where the waste gates are. Uh, so I think I'm gonna end up getting different 90s for this and then put the waste gates down here so it's like out of the way. But uh, let's check with this tubular radiator core support what it's looking like now. Before installing the belt, I need to install this harmonic balancer. So I actually picked up a harmonic balancer installer for about 20 bucks from ICT Billet. This is a really smooth piece and it made this install way easier. And for clarity, I did have issues finding the harmonic balancer installer. ICT Billet was actually one of the most affordable options out there. And with the harmonic balancer installed, we are ready to finally put our harmonic balancer bolt on that we got from Dorman products. This is a really nice piece and it looks like it's got some thread locker on the back of the bolt, which is awesome. And make sure you torque this thing down twice, first time to 37 foot pounds and the second pass 140 degrees of additional rotation. Now that we got the belt on, look at that. Okay, so here's what I wanted to show you real quick. Do you remember earlier in the video when I said I'm worried about this clearance right here? Well, check this out. So I started tightening the belt up and you tighten it by this little tensioner right here, right? It's just this little bar you spin out. But I want you to notice that as I extend this bar out, look at how this angle changes. Check this out. If you look close enough, by the time the belt gets tight, this thing should almost, it's almost further away from the header now. So that was a really good placement by ICT Billet. This kit, I really like it. I was like, wow, that's close, but like, you can almost get a wrench in there now, so when we do the heat tape, it should be fine. Or when we do the header wrap, I should say. Now the ICT billet kit is officially installed. Look at that, wow. The belt is now on there, the turbos are now on there. We've got a great placement of everything right now. Uh, I absolutely love this ICT billet kit. It's got great spacing over here for the power steering pump. All in all, everything is looking good clearance wise. Now we've got the pulley assembly from ICT Billet installed. We can actually start plumbing the cold side of the turbo system because we don't have to make any modifications to it to make the pulley assembly work because I was super worried about clearance at first with this specific turbo system. So we can start plumbing the cold side, getting the intercooler, the radiator, wiring the car up. Meanwhile, my dad's gonna get the brakes done on this thing. And then we're ready to fire up the twin turbo El Camino. So thank you for watching Hood Billy Garage. I'm Gilk the Great and I'll see you next time. Fire me up. Hey, hey, why ain't I running yet? Come in. <laughs>